without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. In today's reading from the letter to the Hebrews, we're once again reflecting on Christ as high priest. Today's message, invoking Psalm 110, connects Christ to the figure of Melchizedek. Now, Melchizedek is much more than the answer to a trivia question. He is a type of Christ as priest and king. That is, he prefigures Jesus. So, who is this guy? Well, the answer is that we really don't know. He appears in Genesis 14, seemingly coming out of nowhere, as this reading mentions. After victory in a battle in which he rescues his nephew Lot, Abram encounters Melchizedek, whose name, as our reading tells us, means righteous or just king. He's also said to be a priest of the Most High, so he's both priest and king. But he hasn't been mentioned before in the narrative in Genesis and disappears from the narrative just as mysteriously as he came. Yet while he's there, he blesses Abram, and Abram even tithes to him, gives him a tenth of all of his possessions. He's also described as the king of Salem, uh, which literally means peace. So he's the king of peace. Oh, and, and one more thing. He brings out bread and wine. So this priest king, this king of peace, also makes an offering of bread and wine. Now, all of this should catch our attention. It should sound kind of familiar, and that's what typology is. We should immediately think of Christ as the fulfillment of these titles, and we should think of the Eucharist as the fulfillment of, of the action of Melchizedek in Christ. So, this reference to Melchizedek is not an accidental reference in a work that's focused on Christ as the high priest, like the letter to Hebrews. Now, besides the satisfaction of seeing the pieces come together here, we should also rejoice in realizing that this gift of Christ's priesthood continues and is shared. Um, it's shared in a general sense by all of us who are baptized, but also in a very special sense by our ordained priests and bishops. So let us today give thanks for our priests and their special sharing in the priesthood of Christ.